All right, back on uh, Barky Build here. We've got some good time in it. I took some time off. My guys are way too fast, and we show up and we got some pipes fit. So not a bad thing, but they did a hell of a good job. Everything looks great. Uh, we're going to show you the fit, kind of run over. What's nice is we did get some pictures, at least they sent me, so we'll get you some overviews as we go along here, how they fit them and what they did. Uh, this was not an easy project, but really turned out nice. Amazing how you can actually get three pipes inside of that Skidoo Gen 5. Right now, what we're going to do is we'll get the pipes in here, get them set. We've got some panel work to do, some stingers uh, to get all of this up and over in the chassis nice and true. We'll show you how we fit the panels, how it's clearanced and set up. So let's get some of these in here and talk about them. Bam! So we got some pipes fit. You can see they're not quite finished. We're still working on the final fitment. Those will be done you know, when we get a lot closer at the end to see, so get some lines, get them cleaned up. Do we want them cut straight down? Do we want to cut an angle? So we got a few things to finish. Spring tabs are on. Nice clean fit, as you can see. I mean, what I like to see is that they do have a true nice looking J, we'll call it. Uh, head pipes are not turned very well. They're nice and straight. So the longer you can make the head pipe, the better off you are. So we have nice, true long head pipes coming through here and then real clean and up and over. So we'll put, uh, let's get our panel on here and then we'll get a hood and check some fitment. All right, as we're just fitting some panels here, we want to bring up a couple things, but when we get in here, you kind of see there's some differences in some of the running boards. So we've modified a few things to get the clearance all nice and set up. This will set up through here. But the bulkhead, we've got a lot of material that you had to remove to clearance to get clutches and belly pans clearanced. So when it's all said and done, what's so nice is it looks like it belongs on there, but there's so many little things to try to make that class clean look when we're done. So when you look at it, you can't tell we modified all this. So we'll keep putting them on for you. All right, so we got some panels we got fit on here. As you can see, this one here, if you've ever seen one, we got not two pieces instead of one. I guess we thought we just cut it in half, but we don't have much choice. So this clutch comes out the front side of the belly pan, makes some clearance. We, you can see we had to cut the chassis we were talking a little bit about, so we're making the adjustments for it. The nice thing is we are working on a pretty sweet clutch cover that'll cover total encapsulate. You won't even notice what we've done when it's all said and done, but. When you're taking a clutch and an engine that don't belong in here, you got modifications to make. So we'll keep putting her together. Um, one thing I want to note in the middle here is we did a piece. Thanks, honey. Um, so we did a chassis brace. So when we were building that structure we talked about, I don't know, a month or two ago, we had a new brace that came across. We were kind of looking at this engine, how it was going to float, what it was going to do. So we ended up building a new brace that actually comes through here and mounts to the head too. So I figured we better get that in there. So keeps the engine from moving this way. And then we've got a structural support we're gonna work on the front too. A couple more additions as you're building this, you know, we're making some adjustments to it. So I wanna get you guys up to par on some of the other stuff that we're adding as we're going along. So we'll keep working on some belly pans here. All right, we're gonna put a panel on. It goes upside down, backwards, set up here. This goes in here, this goes in here. So up through here, up in here, and we're gonna stab it in here. And really that's what we got for you. So. You can see we're here. We're gonna call her a, a break for right now. Yeah, we got a lot of more work to do, but we've got a few things to try to get aligned. We got some holes, we got a few issues, but right now we've got some pipes in, we got an engine in, we got some clutches, carbs. We got quite a bit of this process we're working on. You know, our next thing is we're definitely, we need to work on this enclosure, get these panels fixed up a little bit. Uh, I mean, we've got cooling, wire harnesses, uh, drive line, suspension, pretty sweet suspension coming up. So, and quite a bit, handlebars, controls, there's, there's still quite a bit to this thing. We're gonna do some ignition mounting, some other stuff. So uh, definitely hang in there as we keep going. We'll see you in a while.